guess. Yeah. 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 You've you've like you've seen you've seen some hard <clears throat> hard things. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, some some realities of of what it is to grow up in modern Britain. Mm-hmm. Is it because it's yeah. not just the town in which right, we live? It, is it? Exactly. It's um it's everywhere. It's country. Yeah. Um, but but you don't want it to stay like this. You don't want it to to stay so so negative. Um, <laughs> and unless a few people speak up. It is going to keep getting worse, isn't it? That's it. And um, That's I think it. you've found a, there is a beautiful thing in art, in theatre, yeah. that we can tell some stories mm. and change some minds, maybe. Yeah, 100%. Maybe. I think in, is that possible? Of course it is. Yeah. I think in any, in any bedroom, in any room of any house in the UK, there could be a, the next revolutionist, there could be the next prime minister. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But these are all thoughts in our head. And sometimes it's a case of going, I might sound crazy, but life's, life's too short. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You need to say your opinions. You need to get your voice out there. And people, there's always going to be a split of people who don't like it and people who do. But at the same time, if you think you're doing the right thing, you just got to do it and you just got to risk it, you know? Mm-hmm. So what's, what's <laughs> your opinion on, on making everywhere a better place? Like, how can more people make a better place of where they live? I think it's about just listening to each other more. I really do. I think, <clears throat> I think, when when we tell our stories and stuff, we so for Essex Have Mercy, for example, we went to nightclubs and we went to the smoking area of nightclubs, um, and we we went round and we asked a load of drunk men what their mental health was like, and obviously, like not like that. We kind of yeah. like eased ourselves into it and stuff. But we actually made it a task to go and ask as many guys as we could. And it's only in the smoking area of a nightclub when you're talking to a drunk guy, you really are able to get everything out of them. We had people crying. We had people telling their life stories. And I think that's the case of it. And is. This, was your re- this was your research for the play. Yeah, this is right, our okay. research for it. Um, and yeah, I think, I think when, you, when you start listening to people more and you actually give people the opportunity to speak and you don't make it so formal and so like conservative to like mm. have these sort of conversations then then you get the truth out of everyone so everyone's just a human being nobody yeah. wants to sit down at a table in a suit and tie and talk about this sort of stuff you know that's right yeah maybe i should get everyone drunk on this podcast I've, like maybe listen <laughs> you get some stories out of me so um so you did so you went around you did this research you, yeah. you've you're trying to find out you're trying to find out about men in particular about their, yeah. their hardships mm-hmm. and their struggles yeah um so that you could put that into into this production 100 percent. 